Hey, this is Chan, and I just want to wish you guys a Happy New Year! <laughs> today is January 1st, and I wanted to share with you guys my New Year's resolution. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, first, I'm just going to talk about some of the supplies I'm going to be using. Um, these are some things that I found on scrapbook.com, and these are from this collection called Snow and Cocoa, which I actually I really, really like. So I got the ephemera pack and the little rubber clips, which are totally adorable. I love those. And I got the washi tape pack, and then this set here. These are these little mason jar thingies and I originally I bought these because I thought I would use them in my journal right but they're actually thicker than I thought they're like a because I thought they were cardstock right but they're actually more of a chipboard so they're a little bit too thick I think to put in my journal but I think what I'm going to do is punch a hole in them and make them into gift tags and they have this clear piece of plastic sewn onto the front so that you can put stuff inside right and then it comes with these little pieces of ephemera that you can put in there so I just thought that was so cute you know um, I'm going to be using some of these ephemera pieces on my layout though. I'm not going to be using the jars, but I'm going to be using the, the little, um, some of the die cuts. But I just wanted to show you, <laughs> there's these really cute ones here. There's this one here with this little girl, and you can put that in there. So it looks like she's in the jar. Isn't that cute? And then there's this other one with a cute little deer. I think this one is so sweet with the deer, eh? I just thought that was really, really, uh, really cute, and I just want to share that. Oh, and then there's these ones that have a print. There's three that have a print. This one says joy, and this one says snowflake days, and this one says let it snow, and then there's three with nothing printed on them, on the plastic part anyway. So that's the little mason jar set, and then the die cuts that came with it. And it came with this little amount of twine too, this little white and gold twine. And then the rubber clips, they came with five clips. I just think these are so cute. They're like layered rubber. You're gonna have to excuse my hands, they look kind of gross today, but um, there's these cute little rubber clips that have the layered rubber with the different colors. I think they're so cute. And what I really like about this collection is it's not um, Christmas specific. It's more of a general winter theme. There are a couple of things, there are a few things in here that are uh, Christmassy, like this tape, this washi tape that says happy holidays and tis the season and stuff and Merry Christmas, right? But then a lot of the stuff is also just general. This one also says Merry and Bright, so it's kind of Christmassy. This one looks kind of like those old Dymo label maker type things, <laughs> which is quite cute. And this one has trees on it. You know, so I just Today, I'm not, I'm not going to be using these ones, of course, but I'm going to use that one, I think, and probably this one here. And these ones, they're, the quality of the tape is is okay. It's not um, it's not as nice as, uh, say, you know, MT tape or some other Japanese uh, washi tapes, but it's not very expensive for the set. I think this set was only seven something, <laughs> seven something uh, US, and then you get eight rolls of tape. You get this one that's glitter tape as well. And I think there's five yards on each roll. So not a huge amount on each roll, but if you're just looking to get a lot of patterns with, without spending a lot of money, then these kind of sets of washi might be a good choice for you. I'm probably going to use those two there. And here's a cute little snowflake clip. I think that's so cute. I'm probably not going to actually use the clips today, but I just want to show them to you guys because I really, really love them. They're so cute, especially these ones here. This cute little penguin and a, and a polar bear. I just, I love these little guys so much. I think they're so sweet, eh? Maybe I will put them on there. And then this little Christmas tree, quite cute, a little pink Christmas tree. Maybe I will put these little guys on, eh? But we'll do that a little bit later after I do some writing, because I'm going to be doing some writing today. I was kind of thinking, you know, my hands are too ugly today, because <laughs> my skin's been really bad lately, but um, I really wanted to do this resolutions video, so... Oh, and here are the little die cuts that came with the jars, right? So this, I wanted to use this little polar bear one, and probably this little house there. Uh, maybe this little pink tree here. Maybe this pink heart. All these cute little things, little pieces. And you can put these in the little mason jars too if you want. Yeah. These all this sort of cute stuff like this. I just love this kind of stuff because it's it makes crafting fun, I think, when you have a bunch of little pieces to play with, you know? So that's from the mason jar pack. Whoops. Uh, it came with more sequins, but I lost some of them. Because they just kind of just flew all over the place. And this here is the ephemera pack from the collection. And it originally, it, it did not come packaged like this. I just put, I usually put my ephemera in these little plastic pouches that are uh, meant for CDs. <laughs> They're supposed to hold CDs, but I just like to put my ephemera packs in them. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what you get in this pack here. You get quite a lot. I think you get 40 pieces in this one. So I wanted to use, put this little fox on my page today. I think he's so sweet, eh? And these little snowflakes I wanted to use today. And there's these clear acetate pieces too. So most of them are on this 
uh, cardstock, and it's a, it's a decent weight of cardstock, and it's matte finish too, which I, I love a matte finish on stuff. And then there's a bunch of these pieces that are this clear acetate, uh, a decent thickness of the acetate as well. I think there's a little deer there, very sweet. And then there's a slip banner. If snowflakes were kisses, I'd send you a blizzard. <laughs> That's so cute. And this little snow globe type house. See, before I was thinking of using this one on, uh, this is a polar bear postage stamp. I was thinking of using this on the layout, but then I thought I would use this one and then maybe save this one for a snail mail themed layout. And here's another acetate one, so much fun. This is bright. This person throwing a snowball. <laughs> Snowman. This little mountain range. And then I love this one here, this tag with the polar bear. I love this little guy here. He's so sweet. And you can use this in your journaling and you can put it in a pocket in your journaling if you want or in one of the pockets of your Hobonichi or your planner. But also you can just use it as a gift tag too. Like you could add a string to this and use this as a gift tag, which I think is so cute. Snow, snow, snow. This little tag here. I really like this one too, how to make a snowflake. And it shows you these instructions on how to make a paper snowflake. <laughs> That's cute, eh? And then this one here that says joy. Oh, so cold. And then there's this snowflake one. It's kind of hard to see because maybe you can see it. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> it's, there you go. Little snowflake. There's little fun stuff like this, little tags, and this one that says winter. I might I might use that one, I'm not sure. Snowflake, let it snow. This one, ice skating one, and then this one. This one, I, I might use this, I'm not sure, because I might run out of space. I might run out of space, because I have a lot to write today. Wonderful winter, winter memories. That'd be cute for journaling. It's right on the back, too. And then ice skating. Punch card, good thing. Hot cocoa and fuzzy socks. <laughs> And here's another one that you can use as a, just as a gift tag too, which is quite cute. Hello, snow. This one. That's cute. Snow D. This one says burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Snowman, mittens, hot cocoa, and happiness. Another snowflake. I'm not sure. I might use that one there. And this mittens one. And hello, snow. Cute. Cute variety of things in this. And when I got this, it was only, it was less than four bucks, but I think now it's a little bit over four bucks, but still not bad for the amount of things you get. And they're a good size too. Mm -hmm. You can decorate a lot of layouts with these. All right, so here are the die cuts I'm thinking of using. And I also want to use some stickers from this sticker book here. This is an American Crafts sticker book. This is the One Canoe 2 one. I bought four of them originally, and then I really liked the ones that I bought. And then I went back and got this one. So this was my fifth one. And then... During the 12 days of Christmas sale, I went back and bought two other ones, <laughs> which I'll share in other videos. But this one I actually really like, even though I didn't buy it in my initial purchase of the four books, when I bought this one, I was so happy that I got this because I actually, this is one of my favorites out of the, out of the seven that I bought. So this one has some really nice stickers in it. Okay, so I'm going to be using some of those. All right, so let's get started. Let's start off with some of this washi tape here. Sometimes when you peel this washi tape, it sort of rips, eh? And then, <laughs> so you gotta have to be a little bit slow when you're peeling it. And also sometimes it uh, leaves a bit of sticky residue on the outside. Just not like a, not a fully sticky mess or anything, but sometimes you just get little patches of stickiness, but I just rub it off with my fingers and then it's fine. But I just wanted to let you guys know about that. This washi tape is, eh, the quality is just sort of okay. But, you know, I thought the price was good, you know. So I just wanted to tell you guys how, um, I know I just kind of disappeared for a while there. <laughs> you know, I posted a video and then I wasn't on YouTube for uh, about a month. And uh, I just wanted to kind of explain. Um, I was just kind of my, well, my friend Lou, my, she's my aunt's dog. She passed away, um, she passed away about a month ago. So I was just really sad about her um, passing and so I just wasn't really up to making videos and talking in videos you know um, I was really sad for a while and there was one thought that I had that did actually was very comforting to me I just thought you know she's in heaven with humble now you know so they're together again because he he loves her eh? um, she actually stayed with us for a while when my aunt went on a vacation and at first, Hummel was kind of like, you know, what are you doing in my house kind of thing, right? But then he took to her pretty quickly, and then they just, 
would hang out together and I just they're so sweet together and so to think of them together in heaven again I just I think that made me feel better but you know, I just wanted to explain why I kind of just disappeared for a while but I also really wanted to thank you guys because um, a lot of you guys said such nice things on my last video um, about Humble and Wilbur and that I can't even tell you guys how much that means to me you know like I know I didn't reply yet um, but I yeah you guys made me cry so many times I'm telling you and I just but this time it was like happy tears you know because I just I cried a lot of sad tears last year you know and it's just really the saddest year of my life but um, I don't know, you guys made me cry happy tears, and I'm just, I'm so grateful to you guys for that, and also, I, um, I don't know, it's hard for me to know what to say sometimes, you know, like, especially when you guys make me cry, I don't really know what to say, but, um, so, some of you guys shared really personal things about yourselves with me, and also, some of you wrote, um, messages to me, um, emailed me and stuff, and I just, uh, I just, was so moved by you guys and um i wanted to tell you guys how like i've had this i haven't been posting videos for super long or anything but um i think uh one of the most surprising things about doing this is that i kind of almost i sort of especially on that video i just i kind of feel like i've found in a way i've kind of found a sort of a support system on my channel and um when I started this, when I started doing this, I never, I never expected that, eh? But it's, it's one of my favorite things about doing this, you know? Because I just, um, I, n I real honestly never expected that. But, uh, you guys really, you really touched my heart a lot. So I just want to say thank you for that. I hope you guys had a fun Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, and fun New Year's as well. I was kind of... I wasn't really, um, to be truthful with you, I wasn't really that, I didn't really want to celebrate Christmas because it's my first Christmas without Humble, right? And so I didn't really want to celebrate, you know, but it's also my first Christmas with Wilbur too. So I wanted things to be happy for him. And I think the most festive thing I did was I bought him a lot of gifts. I bought him a lot of toys and I bought him blankets and I bought him this like bear coat. <laughs> so I, I, he did get a lot of, uh, fun things. He absolutely loves the toys. It was like a symphony of squeaks <laughs> for a while. Because he, he really loves squeaky toys, eh? Um, especially squeaky plushes. So I got him like a bunch of squeaky plushes. And he has this hilarious thing. He just, he loves puncturing the squeaky mechanism so that the toy won't squeak anymore, right? It's like his personal mission. He just loves doing it. And um, he, he looks... He <laughs> so you can actually get, you can actually get squeaky toys that, um, are really, I guess, like heavier duties so that uh, even if dogs chew on them a lot, the squeaky will still work. But um, he he honestly looks so pleased with himself when he's punctured the squeaky. He just I didn't want to take that away from him, you know, because he just he looks so proud of himself when he's <laughs> when the toy doesn't squeak anymore. Um, but he still like loves to play with the toys even when they don't squeak. So um, so he just. I think he just likes to puncture the squeaky until they don't squeak anymore and then he'll, he'll still play with them, right? And this is so funny. So I got him a lot of toys and uh, some nice blankies. And here's a tip. If you want to buy uh, blankies for pets, I would really recommend... Um, I'd really recommend shopping in the baby section of, of the store. Like if you go to a department store or something, if you buy baby blankets, they're so soft, eh? So <laughs> I, I always... Um, used to buy humble baby blankets, and I got, I got Wilbur a couple of baby blankets too. They're really, really soft, and he just he loves them so much. Let's see, should I write this part in gray or should I write this in yellow? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna write in gray. These are touch sign pens. These are um, my favorite brush pens. Hands are kind of shaky today. Well, they always are, but I think when the camera's on, it's just it's even worse. <laughs> Pressure's on, I guess. Hope you guys had a nice New Year's too. I uh, I don't I'm not a flashy kind of person, so I don't go to parties or anything like that. I uh, I always wanted to ring in the New Year with humble, you know, and so I 
that's just what I want to do, you know what I mean? And so uh, I would always hold humble <laughs> when the clock strikes 12 and just like sing to him. So I did I did the same thing with Wilbur. Um, that just means more to me, you know, than going to a fancy party. I'm going to use this one here that has this is border sticker here that kind of looks like snowfall in a way. <laughs> if snow was like black little dots. <laughs> so I'm going to put this here. I might want to put this. Hmm. See, I'm like, with stickers, I'm so, I'm so indecisive sometimes. Like, I have to, sometimes I have to peel them up and move them around until I like the placement. So that's why I've, I do like these American Crafts stickers, because if I peel them off and, I can peel them off and reposition them, and they'll still stick down. But they're not too hard to peel off. Like, they, they stick, oh, they stick well, but they're not too hard to peel off, you know? So I'm glad I bought these. So at first I was like, oh man, I spent so much money on sticker books. But if I use them, then it's okay. <laughs> and I think I'll be using these for a long time. There's so many stickers inside. Eh? The bear bud's gonna cover up the words there a little bit. That's okay. So my first resolution is to do good things that would make humble proud. I I think I've always wanted to do that. You know, I, I don't um, I don't know if I've ever made him proud, but I just I want to do things that you know, if he ever looked down from heaven and <laughs> checked in on me or something, that maybe he'd be like, you know, you're you're doing okay. You know what I mean? I, that's what I hope. So my next resolution is to be the person Wilbur thinks I am. Because, um, you know that saying, be the person your dog thinks you are? I just think that's so true because, um, I don't know, the way dogs look at you, you know? <laughs> I just He looks at me as if I'm a lot better than I really am. <laughs> I'm just, I don't deserve the looks he gives me. He just, he looks at me with um, just a lot of love. And I just, I want to be a better person for him, you know? So these next two are pretty much tied into each other. Be mindful and do things with intention. Uh, sometimes I just feel like I, I waste a lot of time. So I just want to be more aware of how I'm spending time. And also just do things that are more meaningful instead of spending so much time on things that aren't. You know what I mean? So these next three are pretty much all tied together. I want to do something crafty every day, which is pretty much one of my resolutions every year. <laughs> and I want to think carefully before I buy things. Um, I love craft supplies so much, I really do. And I actually get a lot of inspiration for my crafting from just looking at supplies. So I really, I love looking at supplies. And then when I look at supplies, I always get tempted to buy stuff. So I just, it's kind of a, a problem. <laughs> So I just have to be, I think I have to just think more carefully and not just buy things impulsively, you know? I just, if I find things that are really different from what I already own or just something that I really have a good idea for and I know I'll use, then I'll let myself buy it. But if I'm just buying stuff just to have more stuff, I don't, I don't really want to do that, you know what I mean? And I also want to just be more productive and get more stuff done and work hard. Um, and that has a lot to do with my channel as well. Um, I... I've said it a bunch of times before about, you know, how I wanted to post five videos a week and then I just would post a video and then disappear for a while. And I guess people probably don't believe me anymore when I say I want to post five videos a week. Um, I wouldn't believe myself either because I haven't really shown that I'm able to do that. 
but I actually, I really, I even want to push further than that. And I want to post, I want to get to the point where I post a video every day, which I know is so crazy, but I really, I really am aiming for that. That's one of my goals for this year. So this one here, take care. I meant to write take care of myself, but I just ran out of space. Uh, I really actually don't take very good care of myself. Um, I don't I don't eat properly and I don't sleep properly. So I want to do something about that. And then this one here, do something about my OCD. I really have to do something about that because I have a serious problem. Um, I wash my hands a lot and that's partially why my hands look crazy. And I also have a skin condition too. So my hands just look insane a lot of the time and washing my hands 50 times a day does not help. So I need to do something about that for sure. And I want to send more snail mail. I'm actually the worst pen pal in the world. No one should ever want to send me anything because I take forever to send stuff. I feel so bad about it, but I do want to send more snail mail because snail mail is fun. You know what I mean? So I just, uh, I do want to send more mail this year. So hopefully I can actually pull that off. <laughs> All right. So there you have you guys. There are my New Year's resolutions for this year. Aren't those clips cute? I just think they're so adorable. I love, I love them so much. And I just wanted to add this little tree here because I wanted to see there's a little bit pink on this side here, right? So I just want to add a little bit of pink to this side as well. You know? Anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like to share any of your resolutions with me, I'd love to hear them. If you just want to share one or two or three, you know, I'd love to hear them. And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for um, thank you so much for watching. And I really I do appreciate you guys more than it seems. Like I know I don't always uh, I know I don't always reply to comments, and I wish that I just I want to be better about that. Um, and I know that by not replying, it seems like I don't care, but I just want to tell you, I care a lot more than it seems. So, um, I just want to say thank you because this whole YouTube journey has been quite a ride. <laughs> and, um, I just, I really, I really want to keep it going, you know, and I just want to say thank you for watching because it does mean a lot to me. So thank you and hopefully I'll catch you next time. All right. Bye.